lucky man who made the grave. The way I cover songs is not, um, it's just very interpretive, you know, like I, I listen to a song and I, 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 I just, I take it in and I put it back out, but it's not, not like emulating the original version, so um, it's just how I interpret it. And a lot of the songs that I cover, I haven't even heard the original version in like years. It's just in memory, you know, sometimes even from my, from years back, it's just how I recall that song. And a crowd of people stood instead They'd seen his face before Nobody was really sure if he was from the house of love My sister, uh, when I was in high school, was dating and actually ended up marrying a musician and uh, he was he was so much uh, to me. He was like a father figure. Uh, he taught me how to play the guitar, taught me like my first songs. And I just, I got the bug, you know, for music. And I just moved to LA to, um, to try to pursue it. I know the way, the way back home. I do write. It's just a big deal for me to write a song. I mean, I have songs that have taken me years. But I have friends that they're like, hey, I wrote this while, while you were in the bathroom, you know, or whatever. I wrote, just wrote this while you are fixing lunch. Um, I, I'm not like that. It just takes me a lot, a lot of time. And in that sense, a song is not just a song to me. You know, a song is, is everything. A lyric is everything. You know? Because it's you know people it sticks in people's heads and they sing it over and over again and um, people get very attached to music and um, to have a good lyric that makes people feel something um, I think that's I don't know I feel like it's it's a very important thing. I also love playing music by other people. I love singing their songs, I just do. Well, they blew up the chicken man in pretty last night. Blew up his house too. You know, you, you get humbled when you see like really great writers. And um, I don't know, they're so moving. I mean, people like Leonard Cohen, I mean, he, he, he is one of the most amazing songwriters. Um, but then there's Bob Marley, you know, and then you take a Bob Marley song, like uh, Three Little Birds, and that song is like perfect, you know, it's perfect. You know, like I said, I do write, but I struggle with, um, with verses sometimes, and to have someone like Dylan who is just, there's no shortage of verses, you know, he, he, he'll just keep them coming, and he's got more, you know, uh, that's impressive to me. You're just you're you're grateful to be able to to hear that stuff, and it's humbling. And on the side of this new road, I'm I'm, I'm very grateful. I have some wonderful things in my life. I have a dog that is like she's awesome. She's the greatest gift that I ever received. This is her. Say hello, dude. I don't know, I just love being near the water. I love um, being out in natural surroundings. Um, and um, yeah, so that's also a big part of being a writer or being a musician is tapping into um, the source of everything. <laughs> I just feel that there's so much more to life than what appears to be there.